Hi Ting, Pete here from Medic FX. I'm here today to talk about Conan, our new can't intubate, can't oxygenate standalone skills trainer. So this is Conan, our standalone skills trainer for can't intubate, can't oxygenate scenarios for front of neck access in the obese patient. These are the items that he comes with. So we have a neck skin, a trachea, a small balloon to place on the end with a, a little rubber band to keep it in place, and a fat pad as well as a full silicon repair kit. If you want a guide on how to use these kits, it's available on our website. The actual model itself features uh, an inbuilt jaw, which means you can attempt a jaw thrust on this guy. He's really difficult, but there is definitely the angle of the mandible there to be able to attempt your jaw thrust on. It is a movable mandible. He has all of the airway appearances that, and landmarks that you would be looking for in intubation. However, he is a grade four view. So when you put that laryngoscope in, it is a horrific view behind there. So it's very, very difficult to actually get a, a, a tube or a bougie even in the correct place. You could probably have a go with video laryngoscopy uh, and get a better view, but whether you would be able to get your bougie and tube into the right place is another thing entirely. But that's not what this model is built for, even though it is something that you can attempt. As you can see on his features, he has discoloration in his lips, around his eyes and around his nose to indicate a lack of oxygen getting to him. Going to move on down to the front of neck access part of the model here. So as you can see, uh, there's fatty tissue built into the back of the model there. There's somewhere for the trachea to rest into. The laryngeal cartilage here is quite firm, quite solid, so you can't put a knife through it, which is good. And obviously your strap muscles at the front here. The other components I'll talk you through that come with this model. Here we have the neck skin. Now the neck skin has been designed uh, for three uses before you need to repair. The model itself will come with three neck skins and three spare tracheas. Now on the inside, you can see here, there are uh, open panels, followed by some mesh reinforcement, followed by another open panel, followed by some mesh reinforcement. The idea here being that you can rotate this skin around his neck uh, as more and more participants come and have a go at uh, the front of neck access that's going to be required for the scenario. The purpose of the reinforcement on these various different sections and having this blank piece here is so that when you stretch the neck skin to go around the model, the actual neck skin itself, the incision won't rip beyond a certain point, which means that you can continue to uh, use the neck skin by rotating it around. This is the trachea component. The trachea component uh, goes into one of the large holes at the bottom here, which I will show you shortly. Lubricate the insides before you insert it into the model. When the participants make their incision in the trachea and then try and pass the bougie and the tube into the trachea, it should slide in reasonably easy. Uh, without any lubrication, because of the type of silicon that this is made out of, uh, it can feel like the tube's getting stuck and it's quite difficult to advance without that extra lubrication on. So here are the exits for both the esophagus down here and the trachea up here. Now, to insert the trachea, first of all, we will need to just lubricate the inside of it. So just taking a swab with some lubricant on it, just pop your finger in. If you want to be able to get the lubricant further down, just use something like a bougie or uh, even just a pen or a stick or something that you have to hand just to make sure all of the inside of this trachea is nice and lubricated. As I said before, this will just prevent the tube from hanging up on the inside of the trachea as you're trying to advance, as well as your participants are trying to advance the tube later once they've made their incision. So there we are, the inside of the trachea is nice and lubricated now. All right, so once your trachea is nice and lubricated, you'll need to just take the balloon that's provided and just stretch it over to the end of the trachea like this, so that it just sits on the end. If you feel it needs it, just placing the elastic band, pass the balloon through first, double it round, pass the balloon through again, and then release. All right, now your balloon's inserted. We're going to place the trachea into the larger of the two holes at the top here. So open your neck skin up, 
so that you can see when the trachea has finally made its way up. It's a reasonably tight fit, so it may take a little bit of effort, and you may need to use your fingers inside, encouraging it up. So as you can see here, you want the trachea to fit nice and snug up against where the vocal cords would be, yeah, the laryngeal opening at the top here. All right, so once that's in place, you're very welcome to pop some moulage in here. Uh, so maybe a little bit of uh, fake blood or fake blood clot around the trachea and around the strap muscles here, just if you want to add that extra level of immersion for your participants. So now we're going to take our fat pad. So the fat pad itself will have a plastic backing to it and also uh, plastic over the top. This is because the fat pad is actually quite tacky. So I'm just gonna peel the backing off here. The top of the fat pad will be molded into the shape of the jawline down here. So what we're going to do is just stick this down and then tuck it up underneath the jawline here. So you can press reasonably firmly on this. There we go. Try and handle this with clean hands. Um, obviously with the fat pad itself being quite sticky, hair and fluff and dust will adhere to the sticky pad. All right, so ensuring you have one of these squares in the middle, lift up the base of the model and encourage, so this will be a little more difficult with the fat pad on now, encourage your skin over the base of the model here. So just ensuring that you have the middle of the square over where your participants are going to be making their incision. Adjust the skin as you need to, and that should fit nice and snug. Just gonna turn him over here, just so you can see the back. So that's nice and snug on there. He's got a difficult to palpate neck, so performing a laryngeal handshake will be really, really difficult. Trying to find all of your landmarks, again, is gonna be quite tough. So this is the kind of patient where you will probably just make a big incision in the center there, blunt dissect down with your fingers until you can get to the right spot and then insert your ET tube using a bougie and a scalpel. So that's the setup of Conan. So he's all ready to go now. There is one more thing that I would probably suggest that if your participants are going to be making attempts at in instrumenting the airway, just lubricate the airway a little bit with a water-based lubricant of some description. The standard water-based lubrication that you would normally use for an airway is fine. Uh, just at the end, make sure that you clean out the uh, oral cavity with a swab, try and get it as dry as possible. With these guys, you are welcome to wash them with warm soapy water. There are no components that can get damaged. However, I would try and keep the hair as dry as possible when you're doing that. The hair is punched in, so there is a risk of some shedding. Uh, if you want to try and maintain the hair, you're welcome to use a brush, but please um, just try and stay away from the roots if possible. So that was the setup for Conan. Uh, it's a fairly simple model to put together. Cleaning and maintenance, as I said before, you're welcome to use warm soapy water to clean him off. Just make sure that when you put him away, he's nice and dry. Uh, if you're uh, concerned about mold, then wiping down with a 50-50 mix of ISO alcohol and uh, sterile water is probably the best way to go. Ensure that the mouth has been cleaned out if any of your participants have been instrumenting the airway and just make sure that it's nice and dry inside there by passing a swab through. Uh, the tracheas themselves, uh, you can repair them. You can order some new ones if you need some. Uh, same with the neck skins. Uh, there is a video on how to repair our silicon products on our YouTube page. Uh, please go and have a look. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'm sure I'll see you again.